Good morning, good morning, folks. I'm here at um, Gayo's Bush, where um, I just arrived here. And, huh? Oh, wow. Okay, the vineyard, yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I arrived here in Gayo's Vineyard, and um, he's planting some cocoa, and I was tapping into how cocoa is planted and grown. And he just um, pick a jelly coconut and I coconut water sweet like sugar and yes jelly coconut in the morning and he's going to pick up a couple more so I'll show you coconut picking beautiful coconut tree And beautiful Clarendon. So this coconut tree has both dried coconut as well as jelly coconut. So the dry coconut is what they use to make coconut oil and then the, see that the dry coconut used to make coconut oil and of course the jellies you sometimes you find in the store is the coconut water in the bottle that's from the jelly coconut it takes quite a bit of skill to be able to chop a coconut something i'm learning Pause in a bit because Guy is taking a call. Um, so yeah, there's two things here. So we have the, the coconut, jelly My coconut, and, and then also we have the um, planting of cocoa. So while we wait um, for the coconut, I'm going to show you what the cocoa plant looks like. So if you're in North America, the cocoa plant is sometimes used as ornamental, um, um, decorative. Um, it's used as or ornamental um, plant, so you may see it in um, in different floral arrangements, especially in cities where they have this big leaves, cocoa leaf, or sometimes that's sheen too, and then some flowers. But actually, the root can be eaten. The root is kind of like a sort of yam, if you know um, um, dasheen or taro. Um, the cocoa plant is similar to that and the root is also similar. Tastes different, but similar. So, this is it. <laughs> Gaia is taking a call. So, Gaia has started to plant already. Here is the the sheen that he took out and he's going to replant he has started to replant some um, he's going to do it again so I'll be able to see how that's done this is the first time for me I don't know how to replant but seem to have some holes here and then um, yes so you see. That's it. So we're gonna find out exactly how that's done, okay? Hang on. Also give you a little bit of the scenery. Scenery. Three sixty. See me. Okay, I was back in business, chopping. 
coconut. So as I was saying, this takes a, this takes skills to be able to chop, and this is something I'm learning. I have chopped a couple, co a few coconuts already, not as good as how Gallo is doing it, but nevertheless, I was able, still able to drink it. So he's using a machete a cutlass to chop, chop the coconut. And for all my yardie who know this, no, you know how this goes. No, not now. I drink it later. I mean, I look this way, but look like you get chopped. Oh, you open? Okay, then you then I'll drink it then. If you open. Huh? You drink if you open. All right. So this go for it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh. Look at this. Look at this. Yummy. Oh my god, it's so heavy. <laughs> it's so heavy. Look at this. Nourishment right here. Good morning nourishment. Alright, so how am I gonna do this now? I'm going to put this down a little bit. <coughs> And set my camera so. <clears throat> Jelly coconut in the morning. It's very, very, very delicious, refreshing. Some Jamaicans like to say, you know, wash off my heart, wash off my heart. Yeah, wash off my heart. Okay, that was delish. <sighs> That's the thing with being down here. No access to running water, so I have to find a creative means to clean one's hands. Okay. I know that I keep jelly picking. They're hard. So how can you tell which one is hard and which one's soft? Hmm? When they all just yellow like that. Because sometimes the yellow ones are already starting to become hard. And then but you can see the brown ones very obvious. Oh okay. Like 
with me born before you yes yeah. so it's based on observation apparently so you, you just look to see which one into there first which one come out first more mature bones yes I look too fast, you know. Yeah. I hope so. I'll go, but I just see you. I look too quick, not for. Okay. Well, thanks. Yes. So, um, how long can the brown coconut, the hard coconut, stay on the tree? Well, I don't know. I never check that out. Uh, but eventually fall off, right? Sometime. 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 It's here until it, it grew or turn hard up or something like that. Okay. So this one is kind of half hard. You can tell because you can see the texture of here is not smooth. So you can know that the complete the um. Sorry, the microphone was below. <clears throat> You can tell that it's half hard, I mean that it's just about to become like hard coconut, dry coconut where that's used for coconut oil or for cooking because the texture of this, you can see that it's kind of hard, um, kind of rough, I mean rough. It's not smooth, I'm going to show the opposite. Once you start seeing that, you know the coconut has matured, no longer jelly. This one is not as hard, but still you can see it's on its way to being hard. Hopefully you can see the texture of the coconut. I'm going to show you the one, like the one I just drank. <coughs> the one I just drank um, was a perfect jelly. Um, it's a perfect jelly coconut. Um, where it has a good amount of meat, because sometimes the meat is like <laughs> non-existent. <laughs> This around here is more smooth. It's not that kind of hard, um, rough texture. And you can see the inside, waiting for Gayo to chop this open for me. You can see the inside is um, softer. So this is, for me, the most ideal coconut where it's um, not too hard. You can get some jelly after drinking it. This one guy drank earlier is half hard. So that's just like the one I just showed you earlier. You can tell again, the texture here is rough. And then inside of here, you can see that it's a bit hard. This is not something that I would eat like jelly, like jelly. Um, I would maybe use that. I did get a new re recipe recently called coconut dumpling where this kind of half hard coconut, you can blend it up until it's smooth and you mix it in your flour. Um, so I put white flour, whole wheat flour, cornmeal, and then um, blend up some of that half hard coconut and use that instead of water to mix the, um, to mix the, the dough. Yeah. All right. So that's the coconut part. I've got this skill. Got to use a machete to hold a coconut and carry it. That skill. <clears throat> All right. So uh, we have two coconut there. Very heavy. Then lots of something in there. <laughs> lots of juice, coconut water. In there. So, guy, you can chop down here for me, please. No. Want to eat it? Yes, because inside nice. So, we don't eat the jelly. You don't drink it. Yeah, me don't drink it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. One mm -hmm. clean cut. I get a, a spoon. Oh shoot! All right. Right. No pie is no here. Uh, okay. Okay, hopefully my immune system can handle this. <clears throat> but I want to do a little bit of say so clean up. Uh, 
yeah this one didn't cut cut the usual way some of the dirt from outside get in there lord goodness okay maybe i won't eat all of it so normally <coughs> this jelly coconut we eat it in we use <coughs> this is called like the coconut spoon so we just pretty much take the um the coconut spoon to actually eat the coconut the jelly so we're scraping out the coconut jelly or something they call it coconut meat and then So this is it folks, jelly coconut. Alright. Maybe it's time to get to some work. Let me go find out what a guy is gonna do. I may sign on a bit later if we do plant um cocoa, but for now I'm gonna sign out. <coughs> sign off. I'm gonna sign off for now. Alright, later, a little more. Blessed day, huh? This is Kenyatta and Gayo from the vineyard. Um, Gayo, want to say bye? May I sign off? Say bye. Bye. But signing off from the vineyard. Yeah. I'm just going to sign off right now from the vineyard. Okay. We'll find out the next operation. Hello. Bless it. We are here drinking some jelly coconuts. You know, it's very good here when you have a farm and can have such privilege. Give thanks. Yes. So later, okay.